Bella's Fall Coat by Lynn Plord. Bella was little, but not as little as she used to be. Grams tisk tisked. You're going to burst your buttons, girl. It's time for a new coat. Bella shook her head. No, Grams, this coat is my favorite. You made it for me, and I want to wear it forever. Bella Mary, nothing lasts forever. Winter will be here soon. But whoosh! Bella was already outside. Bella twirled and whirled. She crinkled and crackled. She dove down deep and pop popped back up. When Grams jangled the lunch bell, Bella burst into the kitchen. Eek! Grams screamed. A leaf monster! Bella giggled. It's just me, Grams. Fall leaves are my favorite. Let's keep them forever. Well, I know a way we can keep them for a little while, said Grams. After lunch, Grams said, Now, Bella, about that coat. But whiz! Bella was already outside. She picked and plucked. She stretched and reached. She crunched and munched. Grams, my coat has pockets big enough for a whole tree of apples, said Bella. Can we make an apple pie? My favorite. Hmm, said Grams. I'm sure we can make something with these. After supper, with warm apple tarts for dessert, Grams tried once more. Your coat, Bella, it... But zoom, Bella was already outside. She sneaked and snooped. She honked and whistled. She flapped and flew. Oh dear, said Grams. I'm afraid these wings have flapped their last flap. I was flying with these geese. I wish they could stay forever, said Bella. Can you fix my coat? Let's see what I can do, said Grams. But now it's time for you to get ready for bed. Grams tucked Bella in tight. The little girl, who wasn't quite so little, fell asleep and dreamed of her favorites. Bright orange leaves, crisp, juicy apples, and soft white feathers. Meanwhile, Graham snipped and clipped. She pushed and pulled. She whirred and... snored. The next morning, Bella awoke, her eyes filled with white flakes. The first snow, said Bella. Can I go out and play in it? Not in your old coat, you can't, said Grams. You couldn't fix it, Bella said, her eyes filling with tears. No, kitten, I'm afraid you're going to have to wear this one instead. Bella slipped it on. She twirled and whirled. She stretched and flapped. She even found surprises in the deep, deep pockets. Grams, this is my new favorite coat. Thank you. I will wear it forever. Bella saw her old coat drooping on a chair, sad and lonely. She picked it up. Grams asked, where are you going with? But swoosh, Bella was already outside. That coat fits her perfectly, said Grams. Of course, said Bella. It's her favorite. Thanks for watching. 
please like, share, and subscribe for more kids' story time.